the best wallpaper I've ever used. Um, hi. I'm your host, Zeos Pantera of Z Reviews. And this is Z Reviews. And you can download wallpapers in the description. You can support me on Patreon, subscribe, start in the comments, everything. It's wonderful. And welcome to Triple Win H1. I think they're the H1s. Let's double check. That's wallpapers. You don't get those unless you're looking in the description or a patron. Yeah, so they're on Amazon. And they weigh 0.45 kilograms. And they're on Linsol, who sent me these for $189. And they're not good. Don't buy them. The end. They just save you a bunch of time. Thank you for coming by. Z reviews, links, and shit. Mm, okay. We need to discuss some stuff. If you. You're not here to buy a headphone. If you if you're always here, like oh Zeus always tell me to buy the next thing, don't worry. I got you covered on this one, boy. Christmas is coming, and you're about to save $189. Um, so Lin Sol sent this sent this to me. And they send me a bunch of stuff. I got blondes in them, I got these, I've got the GLT. They just send here's here, Poseidon's here. Go. Go. Shotgun. They load a shotgun with 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 gifts for Zeus. And I just I don't know what to expect, you know, but I do know this name. You know this name. Triple Win has made really quality, low-price IM cables. And then only recently, when the Poseidon review came out, and I was complaining about the wire, they sent me these Triple Win cables, which are nice fucking cables. Look, Triple Win with the with the, uh, the the fabric that's like twisted and it's braided. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful cable. It's not the cable that came with this headphone. The cable that came with this headphone was this cable. This is a very short, very thin, very... I'm going to say the word bleh to be nice to the cable. But it's like, all right, this is a cable from a $60 headphone. You're lucky it's attachable. Three and a half millimeter, one side silver, one side black. Actually has nice little micro knurling on the thing. I don't hate... These, it's just, it's it seems pretty blasé, and it's a three and a half millimeter, and I want to try it balanced. All right, pull out the $50 triple in cable. See us. Make sure you link these beautiful triple in cables at the top of the um, description, because all the links in the description. This Grandia cable, or Grandios cable, I forget what it is, it's like 50 bucks. Absolutely worth it if you want whatever the connector's type to whatever you want it to go. I could do Pentacon or whatever. Um... That was only the first thing I changed on these headphones to try to make them tolerable. Um, the next thing I noticed was that the headband looked awfully familiar. We're, we're going to get to this. We're going to get to that. But the headband looks familiar. I want to just get this out of the way. So I'm looking at it. I'm looking at that pleated pattern. And I'm looking at the two slides. And I'm like, hold on. I just did this $1,600 pair of Denons. The D9200s, right? Yes. And I'm like, oh, there's a pleated headband. And there's a very similar setup. Did they use it? Is, is this a, you know, for $189, you can get the same headband as a, as a $1,900 or $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $
so you can feel it in here and then it comes up here and it, they made it so it just perfectly bends and this is a little bit of a point but this has got like a point because the structure still has to be rigid in this one so like really looking it over so this is not as soft it's not as even this the actual sliding me mechanism is much cheaper and then the real tell is phillips screws here versus uh i think those are stars it's like a t4 or something it's just this is a better built <laughs> like this is a copy not a factory that makes this making this and then selling it for cheap this is someone getting a pair of these and going oh we could do that we've got denon 9200 headbands at home this is what you get so it's like it's all wiggly wobbly like down to the to the way the stitching is lined up it's trying to be an exact copy and then this thing like when you go to wiggle it it's like turn like i could turn the whole thing and uh, uh, and then it, it turns it's like so fucking stuck at least the edges aren't sharp but it feels like somebody needs to get in there and pull out like there's like a leather belt and it needs to be oiled it's like it's not good and then it's sort of then there's this the actual actual yokes, which we can put you away now. Because the yokes are also trying to look exactly the same, like as far as the way they're cut. But no, the denons are quality. And this, these are cut. They feel good. Like, here's the thing. This yoke itself feels good. But the cup is like a millimeter and a half off. So it wiggles back and forth. And it's metal on metal on metal. So you hear it sounds like that so it's like all right the build isn't great then we get to this back panel that says triple win which is very nicely cut out of a piece of stainless steel i said very nicely cut what i meant to say is cut out of a piece of stainless steel laser cut and then never touched again because this is sharp as fuck like if i put my finger here and just try to move it i don't want to move it with the, the shape it's just like ah this is dangerous oh can't move sideways it's gonna literally destroy my fingers. You, you, when you go to touch it, it just feels bad. It feels bad to touch. It's just like, who had this problem? Monoprice had this problem, didn't they? Like uh, the, the original uh, Harmonitine Helios had like that cut, but it was like a little bit sharp. And I was like, eh. Then they fixed it on, the, on the, um, the Zeus and everything, which are over there, by the way, that's where those live. Um, so this is like, and you can't take it off because there's no screws. It might either pops off from the inside or it's glued on. So you get this very uncomfortable, it's like a cheese grater, like a legit, oh, rip my fingertips off cheese grater material. Looks very good, but don't touch it. And then you get the, the knockoff headband, which to be honest, I'm comparing it to the, the headband, so it's not as up to spec. But if this just came to me and I had no reference of that, I'd be like, eh, it's a pretty nice headband. It's not the worst thing. It just, it's loose and jiggly. And then we get to the pads and these are the original pads. I've taken them off and they're just cheap. They're there, they squeeze. They have a type of foam. It kind of feels like it's filled with air, but not in that good way. And they're not like the worst material either, but here's the thing. I didn't like the way these sounded at all. In fact, I did the sound demo of them before I did this review. And when I tried them on, I did a burning rig for however many fucking days and days and days. I think, I think all through Thanksgiving, I was away from the house. I was just playing over there. I did a burning rig for like a week and a half. Just fucking play, whatever. And I put them back on over here before the sound demo. And I have to listen to them. And then I have to put them on the sound demo rig. And then I have to put on my Neumanns. I have to try to match what I hear. And it was uncomfortable to do that. They don't sound very good. So after all this, after the build and then the wires, shit. Oh, let me show you the packaging. Never mind. Um, they came wrapped in like a single piece of bubble wrap and then put into a plain cardboard box and then taped up and sent to me. That was it. There's no package, there's no box. It's it's like a sample, and I'm pretty sure that's just how it's gonna be. There is no box. There is no spoon. There's nothing. It was just, here's, put it in there. I'm fuck, done. So that was a little bit like, that could either mean it's going to be a great headphone, because I don't like waste. I legitimately don't like, like, Tacconi sends me out to these boxes, and this is the ones that had the these uh, holiday pads in them, right? It's great. If I get this and I put the holiday pads on my headphones, then what do I do? 
Throw this box away. It's got magnets and everything else in it. Well, it seems like a waste. So having no box might be better. But that was a good indicator of like, oh, Jesus Christ. They really spent no money on these, didn't they? Um, so the pads, acceptable comfort. Not great, just acceptable. But the sound is garbage. Like, like it was, it was muffled and stuffy and no bass. And I didn't like listening to them. And then there was like, I would turn it up to try to get some out of it. And it was just like, ah, and it was just, ah, it was, it was that wallpaper downloadable in the description. Is that, is that's what it sounded like to me. It's been a while since Zeos has had a legitimately bad headphone. Like there's headphones and there's like different good things about them. And there's always something good. I can always find good things about a thing. Like I know the, the people who watch my videos and I know that they're so varied. Some people like ice cream. Some people like, you know, hot dogs with, with relish. And some people like anal sex in the back alleys of, you know, Las Vegas. I, I'm not judging. But there's usually a way I can look at a product whether it's a headphone or a speaker or a monitor or a fucking um, lube, and then tell you, tell everybody in a way concisely so that if something's going to apply to you, you can then go, you know what? That might be for me. But I don't think anyone wants this. No one wants a stuffy $22 sound. It sounds like a Best Buy headphone. It sounded. All right. I'm going to say it sounded. I started dicking with it. It's been, I told, look, there's the box of pads. I opened the box. It's been a year, but I've not gotten a headphone that's been so like fucked that I'm like, there's been some times when I was opening the box where it's like, you know, what? I bet I could improve this just a little bit, just a little bit. Try to squeeze every last inch out of it. But now there's so much choice that I don't bother because if a headphone holds up, it holds up. SV21s. What do we do? Swap the pads in those to try to make them 8% better. They're already fucking amazing. S uh, uh, Sundara. No, I'm not going to touch the pads on those. Although, I think the pads probably could use a little bit of a comfort upgrade. Uh, hi, Femin, pay attention. But these, I had, to, I had to know. So the first thing I did was rip off the stock pads. And then what I noticed, and that's why this pile is here. I'll rip the, these pads off again. What I noticed under the pads was icky, gooey, sticky tape covering all the holes of the dynamic. It's a 50 millimeter dynamic, by the way. So it looks like a planar. This is a big old fucking, look at that. That is, looks like it's designed specifically to be a planar headphone. In case you didn't know, I should have mentioned this earlier. I, when I first saw them, I'm like, oh, what a nice looking planar headphone. Because that's exactly the case that you'd put a planar in. No, it's a 50 millimeter dynamic. And it's got some vent holes here, I think. They might be fake. I, I can't even tell anymore. And then it had just this, like, cheap... I guess it's got to be specifically acoustical masking tape or something. Just haphazardly placed over the holes on both sides. It's just, and you can see the holes through the thing. So what I did to try to fix some of the stuffiness is I peel, I was going to peel it all off, but then it just peeled off the edge and exposed three holes. And I peeled off the other edge and exposed another three holes. And I took this one off, peeled the edge off, peeled all the fucking holes. I want to just, just give me something different. Try the tuning. Let's play with the tuning. And this helped. Doing this helped with the stock pad. I just, oh wow, the stuffiness is like, I, because the thing is I was turning them up so high because I wanted to get some, some sound out of them and then it was getting like harsh and muffled and bad. So by doing this, I was able to actually let some of the, the actual treble out so I could run it at a lower volume so it all sort of balanced out a little better. Great. But now I'm like, well, where's the bass? Because if we look at the at the page on Linsol, um, these apparently 50 millimeter dynamic driver with three layer polymer diaphragm. Don't know if that's special or not. They might all have three layer diaphragms. Superior open back design. I, I can't deny that because most of my headphones here are open back design. So the open back design usually is superior. Um, and then it said balance and natural sound. And I'm like, no. Nowhere on it does it say low end will even happen. Uh, open back, open back cup has a long haired what? Hold on, I'm reading this for the first time. The open back cup has been long hailed, hailed. I'm sorry, that says haired as a superior design headphone for decades. So they're basically just saying it's a headphone. She's not studied the world's most famed and expensive headphone measurements to access the sound of uh, combining data with several target curve tunes. H1 was engineered to achieve a superb studio tuning that reflects the sound as it was recorded. It does not. It sounds like ass. 
unless you're listening to what ass sounds like. Um, th- this was is bad, was bad. So I started swapping pads to try to see if I can either fish some low end out of it or even remove even more stuffiness. And I started out with like these, I think these are, these are Dakoni, like like actual sheep skins, like big thick fuckers. And these were okay, but more, more muffled sounding. And then I went to the uh, perforated ones. What do those match? Those don't even look like they fucking match. What's going on here? What is this America? Where's my split? Well, whatever. They didn't sound very good either. Then I pulled out the holiday pads. And I'm like, these actually are doing a good job. But let me see if I can find ones that are not holiday pads. So though I do this review, it doesn't look silly. And I found these are Elite Velour. So the Dakoni, just Elite Velour rounds. So they're pretty generic. And I put these on. And it's, it's easy enough to change the pad. There's a slot here. And... It got to the point where I could actually listen to them. So I'm gonna cover this, take a good look at that. Let's put this back on, which is, it's not that easy because A, I've got to touch this and it's very uncomfortable to the sole. And you gotta like just wiggle it just a little bit. Most, notice my fingers, this is why I keep all the girls. Because I can install, if you can install a pad really fast and, and it's true, you'll get all the ladies. Just trust me on this guys practice on a pad um anyway so now that i've got these on there like that and i could wear them other than them sounding like that the left and right indicators are there let's put it on my head oh and they they sort of stay when you put them like that so you don't put them on your head and they like rest you have to like physically twist them and then they give so much so that you you have to like twist them past and then twist them past and then hopefully you get them on your head in a way that it sits right. I'm using the IFI uh, Zen can, right? Is that what you are? Zen DAC, Zen can, I can studio. Yeah, okay, that's what you are. With the bass boost on, because guess what? That's how you fix the low end. There's no other way to fucking do it. And it's, if you keep the volume low, like low, like low, like chill, it's okay. I gotta accept this headphone. Force of Nature, Madoka Magica Rebellion, which I haven't seen. I've seen the show, but not the movies. No, too much treble. It's still too much treble. And with bass boost on. It's just, I can't. It did, changing the pads didn't make it more open and natural sounding, but, and it would it didn't help before I ripped this off, I had to rip this off, but these are not well-tuned can't. This is bad, it's a bad headphone. It doesn't sound good in any fucking shape, form, fashion, nothing. I'm gonna have to message a soul after I record this and be like, look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what this is, it's gonna be bad. And they're gonna be like, well, let it go. Cause I like Linsoul, I'm gonna link I'll link all the other Linsoul headphones that I do like. Zeus, Poseidon, GL2000s, even though those had some things. Because the thing is, Linsoul doesn't make this. They just are associated with the company. The company sells all their all their cables and stuff. So they're just getting them and they're like, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, the, the, the Zeos. Oh, God. Supermassive Black Hole. Oh my god, how does it have no... Oh, the last thing I figured out, and I figured this out directly before hitting record on the, on the camera. So you're going to have to give me a second. So, supermassive back hole, volume, uh, medium, X base on, hands over the cups, squeezing it. Oh, that sounds better. Mm-hmm. And now it's on the gas. So... Literally me covering the entire opening in the back makes them sound better. Where is your tuning? If that's if because usually if you cover a headphone, it gets weird and wonky and it's like, oh god, no. Whereas when I cover this one, it goes like, ah. 
It's like there's tuning now. My hands, the zeal says palms. Just DNA. Here's my DNA. We'll clone a bunch of me, and they'll all wake up, and they'll be like, "Hey, what's going on?" You cut their fucking hands off, and you super glue them to the uh, headphones, and send them out, and charge one hundred and ninety dollars for them instead of one hundred and eighty nine. There's no redeeming these headphones. I've tried. I tried redeeming them. I mean, I put the cable on. I'm like, all right, let's, let's say 189. You say you buy the better cable, so that's like 240. And then maybe you need to swap pads, and the, the Coney pads are pretty pretty pricey. They're another 40, 50 bucks. They're another 50 bucks. Say 50 bucks. So now it's like, we're back to like 290. It's like $300 headphones. It's like a $300 headphone. All right, but it's a good 300. No, it's not. It's not a good 300 headphone. It's not. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. This is not. No, don't buy this. I'm sorry. Don't buy this. They look really good. I mean, I think they could probably sell these for people to put in, like, stock photos. Like, if they get rid of the triple win name, they can write just headphone here. And then, like, Ikea would buy, like, 200 of these. And they could just put them in, like, Ikea stores. They'd look fantastic. It's, it's, it doesn't, I don't want to listen to these. I, please don't make me listen to them anymore. <laughs> please, please don't. I've listened to them probably, and this is not a joke. 45 minutes not including the sound demo but i burned them in for for a week and a half so i know that they're used and i've tried i have every amplifier fucking on except for the reference one but i have every amplifier i'm just in and in and it does change a bit i actually kind of like it in the a90 oh no no let me rephrase that <clears throat> i actually kind of don't hate it as much in the a90 but I need low end, and I was like, all right, then sings there. Or, and then it was like, the person has the most of like the fake low end to come out of a solid state. And then I'm like, no, 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 fuck it. We're just going for the for the balls and just put it in the X base. I'm not even gonna bother with tube. Like, these would have to be, for me to consider recommending them, $41 headphones. Because then you'd get at least like, that's a, that's a pretty well-built $40 headphone. And, you know, it all leaves you wide open for modding. <laughs> Who couldn't go wrong for $41? $189? Mm-mm. Chicken head bite chicken. No. So, yeah, that's the end of this review. I'm just, I'm just timestamps. Zeos doesn't matter. I'm trying to do the timestamps because my usual routine is watch the video and just listen to myself say what I have to link. And now I watch the video, listen to what I'm saying, and try to figure out when a timestamp segment begins. Which is like trying to predict a fucking car crash while just driving along. It's like, is he going to do it? No, he's not doing it. How, no. Okay. Because it's like, I don't know. I'm fucking out of my mind when I speak. These are all just off the cuff. So trying to like, I, there's so many times I hear myself talking. And I'm like, oh, I got to go back 30 seconds. When did I say that? All right, there's a new time chapter. And then it changes by the time I get back. And it's like, oh, I didn't talk about that at all. I got off on a fucking story about Tower Records in Japan being the coolest place you could ever be. Spent hours in Tower Records in Japan hours i miss tower records i miss record stores and i don't mean like those paunch fucking like vinyl only record stores i mean just places where people used to have to go to get music in my america every song is sold on an individual floppy disk and compressed in mp2 um i'm done i'm done i'm, I'm done there's a sound demo for this if you want to really go through the pain because that's pre-mod stock pads sound demo so good fucking luck. Um, chicken bite head wallpaper. I don't know what that's from. Is that girl a communist? I don't know. She's eating a chicken though. So, oh, she's a zombie? Her arms are doing, I don't know. I just had that and I'm like, this is it. This is the headphone for that wallpaper. Patreon subscribe star. Support this channel. And it means when I do a review like this where you're not going to buy anything, I'm not concerned. Because I'm being supported by patrons like you. So I can give a shit if I say something is bad. Although I will link things you should buy in the comments in the description. Just saying. Just not this. Um, see reviews early. Participate in yard sales. And access to the lossless sound demo um, oasis. Which you can get to listen to the lossless shitty recording of these. If you really wanted to. And also all the sound demos have disappeared. $10 a month in the private behind the scenes telegram chat. With access to the Lifetime Swap Meet channel that is associated with it. So you can buy and trade gear. If any of you bought the H1s, I'm apologizing to you. Just sell them on there. They're worth at least $41. Um, check out Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forum. I'm sure there's a post for these already. If there isn't, the mods will, will whip one up. We, we like to have official posts there. And then if there is already a post started by someone else, we'll literally just pick that up and drop it and be like, now this is the official post. 
and dust it off, comb its hair. Um, yeah, and I'm done. This is the only review I'm doing today. I just need it. I had this set up since yesterday. I'm just like, but if I do it, I have to listen to them again. And I sat here and I had to fucking start pulling out pads and I was like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Linsoul, love you guys. Just, just, I mean, I'm going to have a fucking sit down talk with Triple Wind about their ambitions. Because the H1, not a thing. H2, that's a Hummer. If they make a Triple Wind Hummer, I will drive it and try not to crash. How's that?